Okay, so today's question is what can students do to best prepare for class? What can students do to best prepare for class? Hi, I'm Alec Delancey, a psychologist. And uh, I want to start off by saying that school is an important place. It's a place where uh, students can learn basic foundation of knowledge. Uh, so it's really a, a place where a student can go to learn and uh, learning about various fields of study. So a student, when attending a school, there will be obviously various curriculum and uh, that will be based on the, the levels. And it may even be based on the schools that the student is attending. Nonetheless, the student can have the opportunity to learn about culture, so history, foods, uh, the student can learn about biology, about chemistry, about social studies, how to read, how to write, uh, how to spell words in a particular language. So schools really help the student in a, in a meaningful way where learning is concerned. Uh, it's also an opportunity where the student um, can socialize. So a student can uh, meet with other students of different age groups and it gives them an opportunity to know exactly how to behave appropriately around various age groups as well as how to behave based on what activity is going on also to the adults on the school compound so a student has the opportunity let's say for example primary schools or even the secondary schools uh, the universities obviously most persons there will be adults so that interaction uh, may vary but of course even in the university uh, although you have adults who are there there will be various age groups of persons in adulthood in the primary and the secondary school you will generally have students between the ages of 5 to about 11 12 maybe even 13 in 13 in the primary school setting and in the secondary school setting you may have students between the ages of uh, possibly 12 to about 19 right an average you may have um, generally speaking students between maybe 13 to maybe 17 but of course some schools may have like the a-levels so you can have students up to 18 19 so it's a real opportunity for students to actually interact with each other and to learn from each other as well now at this time I want to give you at least three tips that can help you as a student to be prepared for class. So tip number one, uh, arrive early. Now arriving early is, is, is critical when in the school setting or the school system and for good reason. When you want to be relaxed physically as well as mentally relaxed. Uh, you go into a setting very early, you're able to settle down mentally, less frustration, less anxiety, and uh, you're basically prepared for the day or you prepare for the class. Now, when it comes to being physically relaxed, um, obviously your blood pressure will be balanced, and that too can help with anxiety, reduce anxiety, reduce being flustered or, or clouded vision. Um, mentally clouded vision or fogginess so you're able to uh, focus on whatever is being uh, presented or what will be presented in the class a uh, second thing has to do with you have the opportunity when you uh, get to class to and that's when you get to class early too you have the opportunity to revise and uh, revise what probably you studied the day before and you you can review it as you revise it or you review it or you study it over that too will help you to be prepared to build upon that knowledge with the knowledge that you'll be gaining in class uh, that is to follow so reaching on time and being prepared for that class is an excellent opportunity for you to learn and to develop in your uh, capacity when knowledge is concerned a third tip that i'll give has to do with when you reach 
to school and you reach early, you're able to clarify a specific subject matter uh, from the teacher. The teacher should be there early. Uh, it's a basic requirement for teachers. You don't want to get to class late. You want to get to class early. Of course, sometimes things happen along the way, but it should not be a practice ever. Right? Be early for your class teachers because your students are depending on you. So student, coming back to you, when you reach early for class, it gives you an opportunity to clarify with the teacher a subject matter that you may even taught at one time you understood. So it was taught yesterday, you thought you understand it. You go to class today and realize that yesterday when you went home, you couldn't remember exactly how to solve this particular problem. You couldn't remember uh, how to uh, maybe conjugate a verb in another language or something like that. Uh, you can remember how to go through the process of um, reasoning to come to your answer. So you come to class the next day, come early, and you have your questions in mind to ask the teacher to explain it over, or maybe not to explain the whole content over, but to explain specific areas of the content that you did not catch the day before. Even though maybe you thought you got it. it that happens sometimes. You think you get something and you go home. And you have to work on an assignment or work on a homework. And you realize part of the subject matter. You didn't really understand it. So getting to class early and being prepared mentally, being prepared physically uh, are some good things that can help you to develop your learning. So those are some of the tips or strategies I will leave with you to help you to best be prepared for your class. I am Aliti Lansi, psychologist. I hope that this content brought you some value. You can like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.